So uh, here's the uh, my first step anyway when I start the makeup. Um, there's no real particular order. I do like to first start um, under the eyes with this beautiful concealer kit uh, by Makeup Forever. And uh, it's kind of my go-to concealer kit. Um, get it at Sephora. And I'm just working under Helen's eyes and just beginning to highlight and sculpt the face and you know bring out the chin a little bit um, any discoloration this is a great little concealer kit to uh, block out any um, sun damage some freckles that you want to to uh, take out and just make the skin look a little smoother uh, There's uh, pretty decent pigmentation in this uh, this uh, this kit, so um, I I kind of go a little on the heavy side, just to kind of uh, like I said, start sculpting the face with some highlights here, just hitting the highlights. Now with a warmer tone, just doing some basic shading. Start sculpting the face a little. Create some nice angles here. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Helen, and uh, I've done a lot of makeup with Helen over the years. She's happens to also be my wife of 40 years and so uh, I kind of know this face a little and uh, we've done a lot of different kinds of makeup over the years uh, that, like beauty and uh, some Halloween and character stuff too and uh, she's a great sport and a really cool wife too so yeah now I'm just kind of modeling the face and creating different shapes, contouring. And that little egg, I, I dip it in a little distilled water and I'm always using that egg to kind of smooth things out and uh, tap out any excess makeup that little blue egg you'll see it you'll see it throughout this video yeah now just shaping the face with shadow Yeah, it may look a little heavy, but then I go in with the egg and just kind of tap it out and blend it in a little bit. And this is all before I start putting on the foundation. Okay, so here we go with the foundation. It's a liquid foundation. It's the, uh, the Silk Luminous uh, by Armani which uh, is a great go-to foundation for me. has great coverage. And uh, I think I mixed uh, the Armani 5.5 with maybe a little 7 in there, a, a slightly warmer tone. And uh, you can see I'm really just really applying this very liberally and getting real decent coverage. Turn the speed just a little bit.
Now you can go the opposite way too now. You know, you can do the foundation first and get that on. And some people like to go with the eyes first. Um, you know, do the mascara and get most of the eye makeup on before they even touch the foundation. Um, so there's no rules. Whatever works for you. I think if I were to do this makeup again, which I probably will, we'll revisit this in another video, I would probably... Uh, Maybe get the mascara on, start the eyes a little bit, and uh, then go for the foundation, and then start the contouring. So, uh, whatever floats your boat. Just going back in with a little more concealer and a finer brush, just kind of hitting those parts under the eyes and the uh, corners of the nose and just kind of highlighting those areas. Just revisit that because uh, with the foundation, you may just want to pop that a little bit with some highlight. It's a really nice powder, translucent powder. It's a Laura Mercier translucent. And uh, just setting the makeup a little bit. That foundation. Get a nice, even look down. layer of foundation there and try to make sure that it's not cakey. And here you go, just the beginning of the mascara. Um, Helen has really fine lashes, so uh, I'm using the Chanel Noir and uh, just trying to get in there and get those lashes started. Just brushing out some of the clumps there. Try to clean that up with a clean mascara wand. A 
that's a nice taupey little fine point pencil. I, I, I think that's an Anastasia pencil, Anastasia pencil, and um, just trying to recreate that brow a little bit, give it some structure, and um, yeah, so. Give it a nice shape. You can also use powders on the eyebrows. I've used the uh, Clé de Peau. has a great little uh, taupey palette uh, for eyebrows. That's really great. Uh, you can use finer pencils, uh, you know, whatever works for you. But this is a good color for Helen. And now I'm working on the liner here. And um, this is a Chanel pencil. I love the Chanel pencils. Just gently lift the eyelid and really try to really get it in the uh, right in that lash line and I really try to crush it into that lash line and use a fine brush to kind of brush it in and work that in on me just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, I'll even go back in and really try to crush that that waterproof liner right in between her eyelashes there. Um, you want a nice clean line in that upper water line between the lashes and uh, that's important I'm just going right in the waterline on the lower lid and uh, 
it really pops Helen's eyes here. It really opens them up. duct and really fill in that those spaces get a nice clean line a little bit. and now I I'm going in with uh, this uh, cream eyeshadow by Mac it's a it's a paint pot eyeshadow I think it's called construction constructionist or construction or It's kind of a bronzy brown color, which is good for this kind of smoky eye thing I'm trying to do here. Constructivist. Yes, I think that's the name. I like the cream eye shadows because they really behave nicely on uh, on Helen's lid, especially. Uh, they just don't clump as much as the uh, powder eye shadows do. So uh, this this works pretty good for Helen. Okay, now I'm working on the lashes here, and uh, these are the Ardells. That, you know, you get at CVS, any good drugstore, they're everywhere. Okay, okay. Um, and just placing that lash, and I see, I think it's a little long on that 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 corner, okay. the outer corner, uh, for my eyes, and I don't want this to look too far out. This makeup. So I, I took it off and I, I trimmed it, trimmed the lashes, made them a little shorter, and I trimmed off a little bit of the length of the lash from, you know, corner to corner. And this length fit Helen's, the width of Helen's eye, pretty good. And I'm using Duo, the old Duo uh, Clear surgical adhesive or the eyelash adhesive and uh, you know the first thing you always want to do is when you get the lashes and you're taking them off the plastic package you want to make sure you pick off all that uh, adhesive that comes uh, from the packaging from the manufacturer so you want to get all that globby stuff off and get a nice clean um, band on the lashes before you apply your your duo. Okay, here we go. And uh, that's uh, that's where the eyes are. I jumped to the other eye. I didn't want to bore you uh, with doing both eyes. So that's uh, those are both eyes and eyebrows. And now I'm going in with some Mac uh, blush, just doing some contouring on the jawline and chin and cheekbones and now last but not least is the uh, the lip service <laughs> And uh, I think I'm using like a C Clinique. Lip 
color. And this makeup is for, you know, maybe going out to a nice dinner or going to the theater in Manhattan. Uh, that's the idea behind it, just to get a little bumped up beauty makeup for uh, mature ladies and, uh, and uh, you know, a night out on the town, a little look here. You close. Now I've got a, uh, I think it's an old spice pencil, and I'm just going over Helen's lip line, exaggerating that lower lip line, and I'll probably do the upper lip line. Yeah, I remember doing the upper lip line, going over the, uh, just making them, tricking them out to look a little fuller, changing that shape. such a good sport. And not don't purse your lips, just be, and to bear down a little and look up at the camera. And I think that just about wraps it up. Smile, little smile. We only used about four or five products you can get at your local store. It's good Sephora, uh, Macy's, and Nordstrom's and uh, that's great. And then relax. Thank you. Great. You look down. Thank you, Helen. Nice.